Today's video, we're going to talk about why is my click-through rate too high. It's not what you think and what the typical other videos on YouTube is going to tell you from non-experts. People that don't run dozens of ad accounts on an ongoing basis like I do and have for many, many years already, okay? So get the information straight from the source. If you want rock bottom cost per click running Google search ads for your business, you need to do these key things that I'm going to tell you of which isn't uh, in terms of the results and what it takes to actually get it set up. But I guarantee you, if you do what I'm telling you here, you will pay the lowest possible amount per click. And instead of paying 10 bucks a click today, you're paying more like two bucks a click. And obviously, if you could five times your results on the same exact budget you have now effectively, or just maintain your cost per lead or cost per sale and get five times more sales, you'd be making a shitload more money. So this is worth paying attention to all the way to the end. The short of this strategy, if you will, to guarantee yourself the lowest possible cost per click simply comes down to serving the user who you want to buy from you better than your competition. Okay? There's two things that Google's paying attention to to decide if you're being pay charged 10 bucks a click like a sucker or two bucks a click, given Google loves to charge you as much as you can, as much as they can, for as long as you're around. 90% of the people who run Google ads, they're in, they're out, they don't make any money, and you can tell by watching the ads in your own space. On a, just make a list of you know, how, who's there one month to the next month. There's people that make a lot of money and 90% of people who think that it looks easy to make money and they don't make shit and they end up just pissing a bunch of money away for nothing. So, and then while effectively, I know Google don't come after me for saying this, but it, I feel, this is my opinion, I feel like it's the truth. They like to charge what they can get away with while you're still there for the 90%. And the, the 10% they treat like royalty. Why? Because it serves Google's uh, uh, interest to do that. They want people to get a good experience on Google so they come back and click on ads in the future. If it, it let the ad space go to any ding dong who has more money than effort put into what they're doing, then people would soon stop clicking on the ads completely. And then Google would really shoot themselves in the foot. So they, what they want is to give all the money to the top 10% guy who comes in and, and does things right in terms of the click-through rate on your ads and the conversion rate on your coming from your ads. And everybody else, they can take some money for a while from them while they're still there and they know they're not going to be there for a while and then price effectively price them out of the market so they can't survive. And what they like to do is let new guys come in. And, Google's great. Anybody can make it work. You can come in, defy the odds, and be your Google's favorite, or you can come in, get your ass handed to you, and wish you never did it in the first place. Google wants to take money while they can from the people that are new in, but if they if if they but they and they they want to find that one out of ten or that guy once in a while that defies that's able to outdo what the existing incumbents that are running ads already there that are making, you know, that are making all the money effectively so they could push one of those guys out of the way because so that their system, their ad system consistently keeps improving over time. It, it gets a better and better and better class of person advertising on Google, which makes people more and more likely to click on ads in the future. So whether or not you end up on the, the side of this that you were the sucker who paid a bunch of money to Google got nothing and the other side of this where you're making millions of dollars a year on an ongoing basis really comes down to your efforts and decision to do what I'm telling you here so that at least compared to your competitors your click-through rates better your conversion rates better so if you're wondering what a good click-through rate is or a good conversion rate is the answer to that is is something that's better than your leading competition who has been running their ads regularly for the last three years plus on Google Ads. And effectively, a lot of people don't recognize this, on the top of Google search, there's four listings. 
But there's really like eight to 10 people that are cycling in and out of these ad spots. And what Google's trying to do, like I said, is find out who's got the highest click through, click through rates and who's got the highest conversion rates. They want the guy, the one out of 10 guys that come in and try this that does better than the people that are normally there to be there now. And the other nine take the money while they can and then push them out of the way effectively. So everything boils down to those two things as to whether you're paying the two bucks or the 10 bucks. Anybody can get click through rates that beats the top players in their market as well as higher conversion rates than the pe top people in their market. You just have to be able to understand how it works and put the work in to do it right and or just hire somebody to do that for you. And with 90% of marketing agencies and PPC agencies out there basically outright scams, they're taking your money, they're telling you it's going to be cheap and easy, they take your money, intend on doing nothing, use most of it to find the next sucker and do that over and over again as their pure mo their business model. There's 10% of the PPC management agency market that actually tries to get good results and they're not charging 500 bucks a month. If you could get results on 500 bucks a month, your competitors would have already been doing it. So if you do go the route of having somebody do it, you have to know who the hell to hire, which I run a marketing agency that guarantees results, the only one that you're gonna find that does that. So one, our agency would be the one that I would recommend going you going to, or somebody else that would guarantee results. It doesn't have to be ours if there was another one out there that where they're willing to put their money where their mouth is, basically. Or you could watch my videos for free and see exactly how we're setting up the campaigns to get the higher click-through rate and higher conversion rate in any market to guarantee our clients' results. So whether you can either roll up your sleeves, do it yourself, or just hire us to do it. If you've got more money than time, just hire us. I promise you that's way better. If not, do it the other way. So, but it's about com compared to your competition. The bigger the money that is in your market at stake, the more it's gonna take to reach the top of the pile in terms of your click-through rate compared to the people that are on Google Ads now, and same thing with the conversion rates. If you're in a market where you can make $10 million a year in profit by getting your ads to run full-time, obviously it's gonna take a lot more than if you could make 100 grand a year in profit. So, and of course, you know, if you hire an agency, the more that you're gonna have to pay them to get it set up right. So you could do, if the question comes down to, can you do better than your competitors for a long enough time for Google to be able to favor you so that you're paying two bucks a click versus 10 when this is all said and done with, when you instituted the better ad, the better landing page to take them to, and Google's read it well enough for them to give you the two bucks a click versus the 10, because you aren't giving it automatically. Google systems are driven off of data. All algorithm and machine learning systems are. So no matter how good your ad is, no matter how good your landing page is you're taking them to, Google needs enough adequate minimum level of, of data to look at to know you're, you've done all the things you're supposed to do and you could challenge the status quo uh, as to what's there in Google search now in your market. So uh, you're talking about a 5x difference in cost per click in yours as well as other markets having to do with this click-through rate and conversion rate as per, compared to the people that are there on Google now. Whether you end up paying two bucks or 10 bucks depends on you because all the information to get the better click-through rate and conversion rates on this channel, it's free, or you could hire me and I'll guarantee that you get it as long as you, there's a good payday for us after it once you do it. So, but whether I did it for you, as good as I am at ads or whatnot, it's just assuming I did it for you, it could be the best ad Google's ever seen in your market, best landing page Google's ever seen in your market. You're gonna be paying 10 bucks a click until a minimum amount of time has passed for Google to pick up that you are better than the existing people that have been there for years and to make you their favorite, giving you the better quality traffic, people that are more likely to buy, when you start out, they give you the shittier quality traffic because you're not gonna be around long enough, so who cares, why not? Why not give the shitty traffic to the person who's not gonna be a loyal customer? They give you a higher percentage of showing, 
higher, you know, showing up a higher percentage of the time for your keywords, and much lower cost per click to go along with it. But what, and so, assuming you have the right click through rate the, or the right ad, and the right landing page to get the higher click through rate, higher conversion rate than your competition, you're going to need 250 clicks on every one of your keywords to have that cost per click start coming down. And realistically, for you to hit rock bottom rates, you're going to need a thousand clicks plus on every single keyword. So if you target 50 keywords, then obviously you know you're going to need 50,000 clicks for your 10 bucks a click to come down to two. If you want to know how low the cost per click will get, because obviously you may be doing okay right now, but if you want to know what the potential is total, go to Google Keyword Tool, type in your keywords there, and then there's the high end of the range and the low end of the range in terms of the estimated bidding required to reach first page on Google. The high end of the range is assuming you're a sucker, i.e. The, the average Joe starting out and what you're going to, the average Joe is going to get starting out. And then the low end of the range is you beat everybody else in your market in terms of click-through rate and conversion rate, what you're going to be charged. And assuming enough time, you've had enough clicks on each one of your keywords for Google to re realize this across the board on everything you're targeting. So you're going to have to make an investment into getting the right ads and the right landing pages and run your ads for potentially 6, 12, 18 months before Google fully, fully grasps that you kicked all, you're kicking all the rest of your competitors' asses at what you're doing and to make you their favorite, give you all the best traffic, lowest rates for the best traffic, highest percentage of traffic they possibly can give you, and you're making probably millions of dollars a year in sales and at least six figures a year in, in, in profit just from having what you know, the Google Ads set up right for your business, Google search ads. So your goal, if you're going to go ahead and spend all this money, is to have it set up right from the beginning because you're going to have to, because you have to spend so much money for Google's algorithm just to realize it's better. It makes no sense to half-ass it and then wait for results to come and then invest more and more because each time you're going to have to have the algorithm re-evaluate everything again, and it's, and you're going to you're going back to square one in terms of the the, the analysis Google has to do. People I hear it all the time. They tell me, Corey, I can't invest in that much right now. Uh, I have to see it work first. That's like saying you're going to put gas in your car once it starts moving. There's a certain minimum required effort put in on your ads so that you're going to actually make a profit from your ads after your cost of your ads and your product or service costs and your main overhead and everything else. So if you cannot come heavy with your ads in today's environment, 2024 and beyond, it's not even worth doing at all, literally speaking. Either come heavy with it or not at all. This middle ground, you're just going to piss a bunch of your money away and get disappointed for nothing. Your goal is to be in the top 10% of the, of the people that are there showing up on Google search now in terms of your click-through rate and conversion rate or just don't do it at all. Because you're going to have to pay so much money, you're basically going to have to run your ads at a loss for a few months just to get on the other end of profitability. And Google starts to re starts realizing that you have a better ad and a better landing page for you to even have the good results that if you're going to invest all this money into the ad spend that you have to essentially have to pay for Google to figure out you have something decent, then to have not invested enough in the ads and the landing pages themselves that makes no logical sense whatsoever. So, and in most markets, we're talking, you know, six, uh, three to six months before your ads hit profitability after your main expenses and everything else. So, and you're talking about 10, 20 grand worth of ad spend for Google to figure out you have something good. So to not also invest at least five grand to 10 grand to 15 grand in your setup of your ads, your landing pages, your campaign setup, that doesn't make any sense at all. So, uh, and just as a side, I'm not trying to make this into a pitch fest here, but if you were um, unsure, if you will, of investing that 10 grand or 15 grand would actually get you the right setup. And that when you spend the 10, 20 grand on ad spend to figure out Google, ha that, you, that you are doing better than the existing 
people that are advertising on Google now in your in your space, you would just come out, come to me, and I'll promise that you have the best ad and the best landing page, and we'll basically promise you get so many more leads or more conversions before we take a fee, so that you know it isn't a question either. You know you're gonna get it basically. Of course, we you know the catch is we don't charge you know cheap 500 bucks a month any bullshit like that because that's what the scam frankly the scam companies charge that aren't even trying anyway so and with that said there's no reason why to hire a discount PPC agency to do this it's the same thing as what I said before either come heavy yourself or you don't do it at all if you're gonna hire a PPC agency it makes along with it no sense to hire a discount agency you hire the best agency that can actually get good results because the results are going to be, frankly, so much better with the right, the best agency than with the shitty one. You're talking about a one, 100 to 1 difference in results. So uh, it's a 10 different, 10x difference in price, but a 100x difference in results. So there is no point. I understand from consumer's perspective why they don't want to pay an agency four grand a month versus 400 a month. Because they say, well, what if it doesn't work? Then I'm out of all that money. And then they say, well, at least if I hire the company for 400 a month and it doesn't work, well, I'm not out a lot. Well, that's just like saying I'm going to buy some counterfeit, you know, prescription, and if it starts working, I'm going to take the right medicine. It's, it just doesn't make any sense. And you should just know that if it were 400 a month in ad agency fees to get a million dollar, you know, campaign going for your business, your competition would have already been doing this. Everybody knows about Google Ads in your space. Everybody tries it. People that make it work did what it took to get the click-through rate and the conversion rate to be higher than everybody else. And for Google to realize, invested into the ads long enough for Google to realize it across the board. So why is my cost per click so high? To sum it up, your ad sucks. Your landing page sucks or combination thereof. You can tell by looking at your quality scores on each one of your keywords on, on, uh, to, to back up what I'm saying, but that's the answer completely in a nutshell distilled down to a tight little package. If you are not an ad expert and you want a, the quick secret to beat everybody else, you take the few keywords you're targeting, you go into your search terms report, you go look at the few hundred different ways people have, have uh, typed in things to click on your ads that's, that's relevant to your business, and you target each of those search terms as an individual keyword individually, and you write handwritten ad copy for every single one, and you take them to a, a dedicated landing page for every single one. Or if you're talking about e-commerce, a search results page that sells and has everything filtered down to that one thing. Why? Because just by being more relevant for the user, even if the ad writing style you have and the landing page style you have isn't that spectacular, you can still be better than everybody else. And why is that? Because your competition's too lazy to do it, or they don't want to do it, or they can't afford to do it. They'll make whatever excuse up they can to not give the user a decent experience. If they're looking for blue shoes with black polka dots, they don't want to say they don't want to see your damn ad that says shoe seller here, click here to buy your shoes because you know you don't want that as a user. So why the hell are you trying to force users to do, to do, to do business with you that way? So which in the industry we call this single keyword ad groups where you have a one keyword in each ad group so you, have a, you can uh, determine exactly what you want the user to say of which you usually just put what the user is typing in as a search into the first headline because that gets the user's attention right away. If there's four ads, it's easy to decide what one to click on. If one ad ex matches exactly what the user typed in, you'll get three times the click-through rate as everybody else is getting just from that one little individual factor. And then when they get to, to follow it up to make sure it works and they get to a page, that headline also says what they typed in, then you have pretty much got 80% of the job done effectively, if you will. So. 80% 80, 80 of the job, assuming you halfway know what you're doing in terms of making a landing page that's laid out well for user experience reasons or uh, usability and stuff like that, which I won't get into the details on that, but 
you can have average ability in terms of copywriting to make ads, to write ads, average ability in making a landing page. You do the single keyword ad group model and you're gonna beat everybody every time. It's what I use in every campaign because it just makes it easy to do to be in that top 10% category of click-through rate and conversion rate in any market that we enter. And I do mean any market, because 99% of people aren't gonna be willing to do what I just said, making unique ads and landing pages for every keyword they're targeting, and not just having 10 to 20 keywords, but a few hundred that target every possible variant of a prospect that they wanna to get to their site in the first place. So anyway, that's a, a quick and dirty way to get done what you want to get done so that your clocks per click isn't so damn high. And so that, you know, if you have a 400% ROI now and you know you need to get to 800% to make this Google Ads investment viable, well, you need to put the extra effort in and do what I mentioned a second ago so you jump and get the, and bridge that gap. Ultimately, a lot of people that try Google Ads, they want it to work right away. They think it was going to be easy, so they don't put the work in. And, and they also just don't give it the time. If you do stuff the right way, like I just told you to do, you also go watch my other videos about single keyword ad groups, really do the thing right. It's not a matter of if it will work and be profitable. It's a matter of when, how much time is it gonna take for Google to realize how good your setup is, and then everything after that is downhill. It'll keep getting more profitable for you. And obviously the cost of the improvement is going to be self, excuse me, felt financed by the profit you're already making. And you'll probably make money from those ads and that setup you have for the next 10 years. We've got campaigns that we set up, same fundamental setup, running for 10 years, still makes money. So you, once you factor what you're going to make from years two through 10 and compare that to what you're going to have to invest up front to do what I just told you, like even with single keyword ad groups, custom landing pages, you're making 100 to 1 return. You invest 10, 20 grand in a good setup in the beginning, you're going to make an, uh, an, an additional uh, million dollars in profit over the next 10 years. Why would you not want to do that? There's no reason not to do that. People that want to put a little bit of work in to make the millions are just basically lying to themselves and they're not doing themselves a favor. They're not doing anybody a favor. The user gets a bad experience. They don't make money. Google doesn't want that versus going the other way with it, overcompensating, do even more for the user so they, ha they feel like they get what they want quicker, easier, better. And, it, and, it, and everybody loves you and you make tons of money. So you're not gonna make tons of money unless you figure out how to serve that user better than the people in your market doing it now in terms of the targeting and you know how to write an ad, how to make a landing page. So you get rewarded based upon the user getting what they want. If you want to distill it down to one thing beyond, you have to get a higher click-through rate than your competition, higher conversion rate than your competition. With that said, I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully that made a lot of sense. If you have any questions about anything I covered here today, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel, usually within a couple days time. You can add any, uh, ask me any ad related question you'd like to ask. I'm more than happy to be able to put you on the right track with what you're doing using my uh, 15 years of ad experience just as a thank you for watching the channel and helping us grow the channel. Beyond that, uh, if, I'd appreciate it if you would give that the video a like on the way out and you should also consider subscribing as the information I share on this channel is exactly what you need to make millions of dollars with your ads for your business. As I do ad testing all day long and the stuff that I find works I share with you on this channel as well as the stuff that doesn't work. I manage a few dozen ad accounts on an ongoing basis and just manage the strategy for those accounts. So it's coming from somebody that has hands-on experience with everything that, you know, testing everything that potentially works out there versus your typical YouTuber who is, who's not running an ad agency like me, the information's not valid. So it, practically speaking, so you should subscribe and if you want to know how to do it right, this is the information you want, particularly as we guarantee results for our clients, like I said, and I tell you what we use to guarantee those results. So it's literally the best channel you can find on how to really make money with ads. You can also find my blog at guaranteedppc.com slash blog, as well as my column over at entrepreneur.com. If you like the channel, you'll love my written content as well. If you are looking for an ad agency to help you get results on an, uh, like a, a hands-off basis, this is exactly what I do for clients. 
I can get you a quote on how much it takes to get the results given that I do not charge fees up front to our clients. We'll promise to get you more sales or more leads on your current ad budget or a, a, a something similar to that for you without charging a fee unless we're able to do it for you up front. No other agency does this. The only catch is we got to know up front we can get you good results, but of course you would want to know that up front no matter who you're working with. If you want to see if we can work together and, and, get, and, and see what's possible with what you got, simply reach out to me at guaranteeppc.com. We'd be happy to give you a quick analysis on what you have and see if we could actually get you results and what we would guarantee. So there's that. And then also, if you are in an industry we've worked in before, you should simply take our ad templates uh, that we have and you can use those to your advantage, assuming you don't want to work with an ad agency, which a lot of people don't. Uh, at least with that, all the stuff that you are trying to figure out and test and you know, ultimately see what works in your industry, why go through all that when we've already done it in your market in a different, you know, in your niche, but in a different geographic territory, and you could just literally copy and paste everything that we figured out worked in your market into your own ad accounts, ads, landing pages, temp, um, campaign templates, all of it, and tell you what results you're gonna get with it before you even purchased it. We sell those templates for a one-time fee, and you could use those, and that's gonna save you tons of time and tons of money to figure out what we had to figure out probably spending six, seven figures to figure out in your market already. So you can reach out to us as well. I'll let you know if we've worked in your market. We've worked in over 100 markets at this particular time and what results we got in your market if you're interested in that. Similar to that, a lot of people are starting other businesses just with the templates. If you want to start another business, starting with an ad template that works for that market, that's like the easiest way ever to start a business. And we got people starting lead generation businesses, selling the leads to other people, uh, using the templates we have, people starting e-commerce uh, businesses on the side when they're not in that now, but they were interested in it. And it really just is like a business on training wheels, effectively. So anyway, if you're interested in that, reach out to us, I'll tell you what we have available in terms of what markets and so on and so forth. We have templates set up for it. But uh, with that said, you know, again, guaranteeppc.com to inquire about that as well. But with that said, I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and Hope to see you on my next video where we have another great strategy for you then. See you later.